Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lee with Milk and Sugar Bath Bakery. Today we are going to be making a soap that I am going to split the mold down the center and pour black on one side and white on the other. And I'm going to do a drop swirl of the opposite color on each side. This container has my base oils. I am at room temperature right now and I've already added in kaolin clay, colloidal oatmeal, and some heavy cream. I'm going to go ahead and add in my lye solution. I have added sodium lactate into this to help harden our bars. Let me buzz this up real quick and I will bring you back to split the colors out into two. I'm going to take half of this batter and measure out exactly half. I want these to be, these two layers or two sides of the soap to be exactly even. So I am measuring out 45 ounces. That would be half of my batter. Perfect. The fragrance oil that I'm using today is Anarchy from Nurture Soap. This is amazing. It is, it's sweet, but it's spicy. It has, it's mainly patchouli, but the sweet notes come from vanilla and there's also some black pepper fragrance in there. So I'm going to measure out the proper amount I don't get it everywhere first in here. Okay. And to this, we are going to be adding activated charcoal. I want this to be very dark and pigmented, so I'm going to add quite a bit in there. I'm going to set this off to the side. In this container, I'm also going to add the appropriate amount of fragrance oil. This one's really nice. The fragrance name is Anarchy, and I do love that, but I'm thinking I might call this soap Rebellion. Uh, we'll see what I end up going with when it's all done. I'm going to put some titanium dioxide into this container. Now this fragrance oil does slightly discolor to a light tan. I'm going to try to offset that with just titanium dioxide, so I'm going to need to get it pretty white. Uh, if I need to add more, I will. I'm going to give this a little blend and then give the, the black batter a blend. If I need to add a little more, I will. This divider for my mold out of just a cardboard box the top flap it was a long box I cut it down to size I then wrapped the entire thing in packing tape so none of the cardboard is exposed even on the sides and then I cleaned the entire outside of that with rubbing alcohol to make sure that everything was sanitized 
this fragrance is playing extremely nice, which is fantastic because that's what we need for this. So I'm going to start on one side with the black and I'm going to pour very, very slowly. Cause I don't want my, Oh, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hold it in place. Now I'm just going to do a little bit. Then I'm going to bring over my white and do this other side. Need it to stay in place. Hopefully, once I get a little bit in both sides, it'll be a little more sturdy. Okay. Let me make sure that we're still kind of centered up. Move it around a little bit. We need a little more black soap in here to even her out. This is not the sturdiest of, of dividers, but we work with what we have. Okay. I just love this fragrance. The first whiff of it smells kind of sweet, and then that's when you get the, the black pepper and the patchouli coming through. Now I really wanted to have a bit of a drop swirl in either side. We're gonna give it a whirl and see if we can get something. Okay, let's try this side. Oh, that black's setting up faster than the, than the other side. Pour from a bit higher. Since we aren't quite as fluid as I had hoped, I'm just taking the end of a spoon and swirling it around in here. The majority of this side will remain black with some white swirl. And then we'll go over to this side and do the same. Hopefully this will give us kind of a marbled look. All right, now I am going to slowly remove the divider. Come straight up. Which is gonna cause some of that soap to sink down in. I've got a bit of soap on here. I'm going to go ahead and push this off into the middle. I've gotten the rest of the soap in the mold and I have a little more white soap on the top. It, I had a little more left in my bucket and less black, which means I think there's probably going to be a larger, either a larger side of black or it may be a little angled on the inside. Who knows? We will find out. So because of that, I am going to take this uh, just knife and I want to do, I just want to flip up some of this black soap onto the white kind of randomly and I want to do tiny movements to add a lot of texture. This is pretty. Oh, it just smells so good. I want to add a, just a tiny bit of poppy seeds over on the white side 
don't necessarily want to sprinkle them on directly directly out of the container because I don't think they'll go where I want them to go so I'm just gonna pinch them and sprinkle them on with my fingers that's nice it's a nice touch because this will be a this will definitely be a unisex fragrance men and women should like this one so I'm not going to put any glitter on the top just these poppy seeds to give a little extra added texture here it is up close I like the black and the white together classic and those poppy seeds look really nice over on that side. So I cut into this off camera and I'm, and I'm sorry, I went ahead and set up the camera and, and we are going to cut the rest of the soap loaf. I need your help guys to name this one. I, I originally thought Rebellion, the fragrance is called Anarchy, then I thought Yin and Yang, and then I researched Yin and Yang and I thought maybe something with lightness and darkness, um, maybe the light and the dark or something like that. Let me know if you guys have any cool ideas and maybe you can name this soap for me. Just leave a comment below about your with your name that would be awesome i would really appreciate it so i really like how this this swirl turned out inside I, originally i was hoping for a drop swirl but um this spoon the end of the spoon kind of swirl worked out nicely and it smells just amazing I like how the poppy seeds added some interest too to the top. It's a nice little touch there. I'm happy with how the divided line worked out. I had a little bit, um, you know, we had a little bit of movement there when I was making it, but I think it turned out pretty well. It's, it's not perfectly centered, but it's pretty good. I'm sure you guys have some great ideas to name this one. Look at that side of it. That's gorgeous. <laughs> 